It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and your host, Tom Griswold. It's great to be here on this, the 14th of October. Young Willie G is on his way. All right. Uh, we do have uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio, the house band, technically the outhouse band, because once again, due to uh, corporate logic, the boys can't use the bathroom. Or be inside the building. So uh, I have to rent a port for them. I don't think they even use it. I think they just go around the corner and whiz against the wall. I know I would. Absolutely. Yeah. Unless you've got a major <laughs> transaction. I don't, know. Right. I don't know if we can return the portal and if, you know, there's, if it's dues free, if we get our money back. <laughs> there's, there's a discount. You know, I watch this show on, I think it's on Discovery, or I'm watching the, the repeats on Disney. It's called Life Below Zero. It's about these people that go up to Alaska, <laughs> and they build their own cabins, and they live off the land, Tom. And if they had a band playing in Life Below Zero... It would be Duke Tomato in the Power Trio. <laughs> we have a heater out there. <laughs> <laughs> One lonely heater. Oh, I wow. wasn't going to say me? that's you what you said off the air when I said, man, they look cold. And Tom goes, well, they've got a heater. <laughs> hey, Duke, how are you? I'm well. How are you? <laughs> good, good. The uh, heater it's keeps a... going out, though, Tom. Oh. The heater's going out? Oh, yeah, keep going out, yeah. Well, it's doing yeah. plenty of work. <laughs> and then when it's done, yeah. they, they, they can't keep them going to the Arctic Circle either. It's, yeah. it's, it's got the propane thing hooked up, right? I know yeah, Eddie's yeah. been here yeah, since yeah. 1 o'clock this morning, getting so, it ready for you. Well, the thing is that when it, it went out the last time, and I thought, this propane has been going on all this time. This heater's been out. When he went to ignite it, I, I assumed it would all go up in flames. But Okay, well, and sorry. it's burning my ass off right now. <laughs> oh, cool. right. So I'm sorry, are you complaining because you're too hot or you're you know too cold? How to, you know how to make a, a musician complain? <laughs> yes. Give him a job. Yeah. Willie <laughs> 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 really G has just joined us. Willie, it's good to see you. Yeah. Do you, do you have us. an excuse, young man? <laughs> you have a I don't know. I mean, I think I'm a responsible guy. I do mobile order at Starbucks, and then these this ragtag group of hooligans shows up and orders in person. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what are they up, do? oh. Gummed up the works. No, it's fine. Yeah, I, sh I should have planned it a little better. I messed up. Sorry. Good to be here, guys. Happens. <laughs> we have uh, we have coffee for everybody because I know the guys out there want to be wide awake to enjoy the cold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every nerve alert. Yes, every, every fiber alive. Now they can't even fight back. You're just making fun of them at this point. Yeah. Notice that uh, <laughs> the Joe, the drummer, has his hands in the pockets of his jacket. Well, well yeah, you can be, only see his eyes I have peeking out. It's going to be hard to play the drums with just his elbows. You, you know that Joe already hates you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh not even making, you can't tell what the facial expressions are now. Yeah, right. So I, what, Willie just came in and said something, a ragtag bag of hooligan, band of hooligans. Yeah. Uh, he was talking about folks at Starbucks. Well, I mean, no, but yeah, but I think, whose kid is that? That's got to be Tom's kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, I was trying to stand up for you guys because you're out there in the cold, but I realized while I'm in there in the heat, you also hate me by proximity. <laughs> so I'm going to relax. Okay, good. Uh, let's What's see. What's the uh, worst uh, uh, punishment you ever handed down for Willie? Can you tell us what he did because Took away Christmas presents one time. <laughs> really? Uh, I was drug tested the first semester of my senior year of high school. Um, How is that a punishment? You're <laughs> well, like I just I couldn't smoke pot. Which, oh no! Big shame. Senior year of high school. What Josh, kind of tyrant? You know is my whole personality. Um, torture. No, yeah, and then here's the, the here's the real kicker. I never even got drug tested, so I could have smoked pot the whole time. Oh, oh you did the old. Well, wait switch, a second. Right? I had nothing to do with this. The school did the drug testing. They didn't ask me to do it. I believe the courts in Ohio asked for the drug testing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> now, that, now, now that you mention it, there may have been... <laughs> Not everybody has the experience of having to hire a criminal lawyer. <laughs> hey. After after living more or less crime-free for many, many years. Yeah. I'm I just glad to... this generation can finally get the Griswold era of crime going. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I still have his number on my speed dial. So do I. <laughs> Sends your Christmas cards in the mail. Just, uh, just oh, I mean, Bill? Yeah, good guy. Yeah. No, James. James. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I thought we'd get a song on a Duke. What have you got going? We're going to do it right now if Joe wakes up and does it. Okay. Uh -oh. All right, go ahead. Ooh. We're all set when you are. They want to be right 
right now. Don't wanna work, don't wanna toil, don't wanna burn the midnight oil. Go to school, study in class, and get a job and have to kiss ass. Everybody wanna be what they wanna be right now. sing a little bit about what I'd like to have right now. There you go. A fast food. A fast food. A fast food. Yeah. And fast food. Yeah. A fast food. A fast food. What is it? A fast food. That's it. And fast food. Everybody want to eat a bunch and bunch and bunch of fast food. I got one. Okay, go ahead. A woman. A woman. <laughs> fast food. <laughs> Two women. <laughs> woman. <laughs> food. Make it fast. Make her nude. Tomato and the Power Trio. Yeah. Awesome. On the drums, uh, Joe Maddox. Uh, a home run on that one, Joe. Uh, James Hill on the keyboards, Bill Ritter on the bass, and of course, Duke on the vocals and the guitar. Everybody want to be what they want to be right now. Yeah. They want to do any of the work. They don't want to do the homework. That's right. Uh, yeah, a moral lesson, that song. Yeah. Isn't that good? You can't Thanks, play the drums sir. like that just by sitting down at the drums. No, you can't. Just having fun with the song, and here you come. <laughs> is, is Bill Ritter the most underrated bassist in America, you think? Wonderful yes. player. Yeah. <laughs> It's certainly the most handsome. Is that right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody's back. Okay, we're feeling good. Let me introduce everybody real quick. Our engineer is the man, the voice, the lover. <laughs> Ace Cosby. It's time. It's time, baby. I wish you could talk like that. <laughs> what do you think? Is that uh, 
moisten, moisten the old uh, oh, oh, armpits. Wet the yes, yes, it makes me perspiring. Yes, yeah. I'm, like I'm sweating very anxiously right now. <laughs> oh, Let's see, there's Ace. No. Uh, Chick McGee's across the way. How about you? The man over there just back from his fishing trip. Hands still smell like fish. We Bo- call him, uh, we call him Coney Dog. <laughs> Coney Dog. Uh, from, uh, from fishing, it's, it's Josh Arnold. Hi. That's not just any chair. That's the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Let's see now, uh, sitting in for Christy Lee today, it's Jess Hooker. Hello. She's in the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk chair. This is Tom. That's my son, Willie Griswold, over there. Mr. Pat Godwin is Hello. in the other room over there. Uh, we were rushing on closed circuit TV. Out on our porch, it's Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Great song you just heard from Duke. Duke's on the guitar, Bill Ritter on the bass, James Hill on the keyboards, Joe Maddox on the drums. As we speak, this is happening in real time, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Nice to get some nice to get some real music in these oddball times. Thank you, Duke. We'll get back to you in just a few minutes, but right now we return to the sports page. Uh, one thing, renounce, uh, renowned, he's very famous soccer star, Cristiano Ronaldo. Make love to someone tonight. <laughs> Has tested positive for the coronavirus. The Portuguese... Portuguese Soccer Federation uh, said that Ronaldo was doing well and had no symptoms after he tested positive uh, with his country's national team, but his temperature runs a little hotter. No, certainly. All the time, anyway. Yeah, it does. Ronaldo. Uh, COVID has never looked so sexy. Uh, Ronaldo. Would he, you like the COVID and a series of other STDs? He has a the, severe <laughs> haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I am Ronaldo. I Just call me Ronaldo. Days, we can do it then. <laughs> what I'm about to do is not very Christian. <laughs> no. But, do not look But away. you will. You, you will yell, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> look away. Which what is to, this voice, Ronaldo? I which, don't which, know. Ronaldo. Which way to Gomorrah or Sodom? <laughs> <laughs> As for me, Jeez. it's Sadomi. Uh, so I am Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Why Ronaldo doesn't has he have a seating. cologne or a perfume? I'm Ronaldo. sure he does. Oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't yeah, he, he, isn't he the highest to. paid athlete in the world that is a Formula One driver? I'm sure he is. Young lady, I am sorry to stop kissing you, but I just want to remind you, you are making out with Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know how you get the COVID-19? It's from having too many panties hurled at you. That is right. Those it's are almost ones. worth it. Yes. The, 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 the panties stick to me. You get it from Ronaldo. Like Velcro. Oh. How do you get COVID-19? <laughs> Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I am Ronaldo. <laughs> like he always says his name. I am Ronaldo. Ronald, will you stop, Ronaldo? <laughs> By the what? way, I, you call we call this flopping. Would you like me to flop out, Ronaldo Junior? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> Look at him, Ronaldo. 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 I have the. I am Ronaldo. I have the yellow card fever. <laughs> Ronaldo's in isolation. It says here. Oh. oh, but I can't. But I can't. Is he, so lonely. Is he married? Uh, Don't know. I do not. We know. do not talk. Technically. About <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe is he's. Technically. What is this word marriage? <laughs> maybe he's. <laughs> maybe he's Charles Barkley married. His wife's married, but he's not. Oh, I have no did idea. he say that? Yeah, uh, Barkley. Ronaldo. <laughs> Eating a cheating. Cheese, <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo. A ring can mean a lot of things. <laughs> Nothing could be finer than a little bit of the diner with Ronaldo. <laughs> Make love to someone tonight. (laughs) Uh, We have the Steven Singer singers here, and they're back at the microphone. Hi, ladies. Um, We have the lovely Annie and Amy. Any of those those letters do anything for you? Uh, Uh, (laughs) Make me feel pretty good about... Feel pretty good about yourself right now? Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, now, uh, this is uh, Pat Godwin on the keyboards. Never done this before. How's the mix there, Tommy? Good? Uh, yeah. I think so. Right. Sounds good. Ladies, are you ready? Ready. July's got the sunshine. April has the showers. January's got the snow. May brings all the flowers. Steven Singer's got his singers. December's got Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's always jarring. I don't know. I love it. But October's got that pumpkin spice. Come on. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Yes, a little in my latte would sure be nice. But keep it out of your shampoo. Can I give you some advice? Girls, go, go easy on the pumpkin spice. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice. <laughs> I like it in a candle. Yeah, I don't mind it in my tea. But, oh, chick, you know why I love it in hooch? Even though it's bad for me. Oh, yeah. I'm going out of my gourd. Headed to rehab at Betty Ford. 
Cause I'm drinking vodka with that pumpkin spice Come on, girls Pumpkin spice, yeah Pumpkin spice Oh, I'll sprinkle it on my cookie Oh, don't make me ask you twice But don't put it in your douche Cause no one wants to smooch Ready? A coosh that smells like pumpkin spice I'm so sorry I made, I'm so sorry I made you sing that Everybody now Pumpkin spice, yeah Pumpkin spice, yeah Keep it out of your deodorant And my pizza slice For you freaks who want a blumpkin Ow! Try it with a splash of pumpkin, ladies. Get, Get sleazy, sleazy with that pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Oh, the caves they got spelunking. Yeah, Michael Jordan's got the dunkin'. James Brown, he put the funk in. But October's got, got the pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Very nice. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you, ladies. That is that was so nice. nice. The Steven Singer Singers. Now, um, ladies, this is a simple yes or no question. <laughs> Do you get the, because um, I didn't know this, of course, again, oh, no. being the innocent that I am. <laughs> Did you get the so-called uh, Blumpkin reference? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anne? Yeah, yeah, Anne? Uh, An An to be honest, no. Okay, no, good. good, good, good don't Google it. <laughs> okay. Um, it's, uh, well, well, somebody's naughty over there. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say which one it was. It's not a naughty thing. It's not no, a it's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, it's much similar to the letter we just had. <laughs> no, maybe, if she's into that, you're in trouble. Maybe, uh, yeah. No, whatever floats your boat, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes uh, whatever floats your boat isn't okay. <laughs> really? Yes, it's true. So you're saying let's all be normal, okay? No, I'm just saying this, there are certain things that aren't okay. I have some of the things that Ted Bundy did. Not well, okay. Of course uh, not. I, I think we'll find Where's he was a line? misunderstood hero. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think we're talking about, I don't know, A, and you go to Z, yeah. the letters that aren't invented that's yet. That's comparing apples to murdering women. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, the home of the uh, frozen arrow on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm frozen back here, physically. Uh, yeah, see. I know. I got my winter coat on, too, dude. Oh, I get it. Oh, I got it. I got it to work again. We have an okay. update on your ironing story, by the way. What's that? Well, we posted a picture of Tom. He decided to iron outdoors the other day. Because he's a, a madman. Such a nice day. He yes. thought, hey, I'm going I'm, I'm to do this outside. I have a very outside. small laundry room. There's not a lot of space in there. The first thing I noticed... You're ironing your jeans inside out? That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> uh, really? Why? Why? What, what does that do? I don't know. It just says so right in the jeans. <laughs> it does not. You're supposed to wash them inside. I don't know. You're I know you're supposed to wash transfer. them inside out because it s saves the dye from coming off, but... You're it's... reading the directions on <laughs> jeans? <laughs> well, and here's the interesting thing. He will not listen to anybody in this room. No. Refuses to take advice, but you read the label on your <laughs> jeans. Well, yeah. it makes sense that you wash your jeans inside out because that's where the farts are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There you go. Why you? Thank would, you. I don't know why you would. Iron. It doesn't say I that. I did, not, I did not make that mental uh, leap. Right. You're a man of science. Right? I don't, he no, is a man of science. I don't think there's a reason to iron them inside out. Well, there's, they're already inside out. I might as well leave them that way for oh, because a while. Oh, you, you wear them inside, inside out too. In the movie no. Cheaper by the Dozen, they are making fun of the oldest sister's boyfriend, and one of the kids goes, "Dad, he irons his jeans. <laughs> He's a weirdo. That is a yeah. trope of, for weird people. Yeah. How do you do it?" Okay, let me add a little to this to make okay. it make Are more you wearing sense. jeans right now? Uh, yeah. Are, are they, they ironed? They have, they have a crease no, in them? Not really. Are they inside out? Are they creased? Oh, yeah. Do you Where's crease? your rodeo buckle? Do you crease your jeans? Huh? Do, you, do you crease them or just iron them? No, no, no. no, no. Just, here's the thing. Let me explain what I was doing. <laughs> God. I had to get some new jeans. Get comfortable. I don't like wearing crisp new jeans. Of okay. Not. All right. So, since the girls are out of town... This week. Oh, my God. Um, He's over there loose. I, uh, <laughs> this weekend, every time I'd walk by the washer, I'd put the jeans back in and wash them again. So how many times do you think? <laughs> At least 20. 20? No. So you're like, 20. oh, stopped. I've got to wash them again. You're yeah. in. Are 20 you, times. You are and totally I'd, insane. Are you drying them after And I would throw them? in that really heavy powder. Oh. <sighs> So they, so just, just to loosen them up. Get what the, cascade? What? what no, do you no, mean no. Heavy this, powder? Whatever. What? I did some comes in a box. I'm laundry like, powder? Yeah. Laundry detergent. You mean laundry detergent? No, but it's it's some special like it's like uh, oxy what is it, or something. Twenty mule team oxy borax. Con. What is it? <laughs> it's called oxy something, right? 
Oxyclean? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I just so I've washed the jeans like twenty times. Yeah. In fact, I wasn't happy with them. They're in the wash right now. Again, so twenty one. No, no, no. I've been washing them all day. Every time I walk by the laundry, <laughs> if it's done, I put them back in. All right. That's, what do you? What color are you looking for? <laughs> Not color. It's you, you, you just. Yeah, you they're going to be white before that it's done. That lived-in feel. Oh, if you came in, you wear them. if you came in and you said this whole weekend, I walked around, I did not notice that my jeans were inside out. I went shopping in stores. It wouldn't shock me at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. But I, why you don't you buy your jeans already broken in? You, you can do that. that. Yeah, you can like do that. that. Yes, you can. Yeah. yeah. I have a pair I, I, I don't of jeans. know who's worn them. That's I have disgusting. a pair of jeans that came yesterday. I washed them and I have them on today. I washed them once and I'll let you feel them and you, <laughs> Stand you up tell and let me. Us see. You tell me if they feel soft or not. Ooh. Yes, give us a spin, nice. Chicky. See? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, what's the, what's the backside look, look like? Yeah. They're like what's the backside? I want to know. One time. I washed them one time. You lunatic! Where do you buy your jeans? The store. from Levi's or something? No, no, no. I went to the store and they, I bought them, tried them on. So All right. I bought a whole bunch. I bought like six pair at the same time. Are they at least oh. Levi's? I don't know what kind they are. They're just Jeez. all six are in the washing machine. You don't know what you, brand of... You don't know what brand they are? No idea. Oh, wow. Did you go by yourself? Or did somebody buy them for no, no, you? I went with someone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Tom in a skinny jean. No. No, thanks. That ain't going to happen. Not right now. <clears throat> I like the fact that Tom, regardless of how much he weighs, always wears double X clothes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His yeah. shirts, his pants. It's his like uh, Seinfeld in the early 90s. 48 waist. So oh, yeah. 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 Like I got breathing room in here. That's what I like. <laughs> a little cotton. All American cotton, ladies and gentlemen. So you bought six pairs. Are you washing them all together? Or are you just doing them one at a time? Um, <laughs> right now, we're focusing on the two. Oh, All right. You okay. think you washed them 30 times? Oh, at least. Every time I walk by the washing machine, if it's done, I put them back. Okay. Um, at least there's method to your madness. <laughs> I don't know why I think this you, is you I, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people this do this. What, Wait a minute. This is what resigned frustration <laughs> sounds like. Go, hey, Josh, he uh, washed them 30 times. Uh, all right. <laughs> Did you hear what Tom just said? No. I'm sure a lot of people do this. That's no, what see, he just said. The problem no. is after I ironed them inside out, I realized they weren't soft enough. So I, oh, a lot of people right. don't do this because they don't let mental patients do their own laundry. Yeah. So, so how often do you have for? to uh, get a new washer? Every three months? <laughs> <laughs> high, high quality washing machine? Look, I, I, no one does this but you. No one. No one. Absolutely no one washes one fact, pair of jeans. Do you cut off the tops times. of your socks with scissors? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you, you doing? You know about that, Willie? No, I don't do that either. I know you do it, but I don't do that you either. You cut off the tops of your socks? <laughs> yeah, you look. The <laughs> gathering of the top of a <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Those look like socks that an orphan in a play would wear. <laughs> look at Willie. Look at Willie. <laughs> Willie is genuinely embarrassed and worried. <laughs> you're you're a daddy. I like that loose feel. It's a hard knock. Just uh, take your socks. Socks, take a pair of scissors and just slice off the top. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Why you do I love, at the end of the day, I want my socks at the bottom of my shoe. That's what I want. Yeah. I want them to be sliding down on the whole time. Yeah. And I want why them to do you do that? You make fun of people who have intentionally ripped jeans, yet you cut your socks up like a crazy... Makes sense to me. Oh, it's not funny. Sure. You don't, people you don't out like there the elastic. A pair of How does it make sense to you? How does that make sense to anyone? Does the By elastic the way, did, bind you? I did a little research. The best way to do it is to wash your jeans in vinegar. So oh, yeah. if I if I smell like vinegar, you'll know why. Okay. All right. This, this, it's yeah. just again, mind blowing. Just let him go. Uh, yeah, he he doesn't like the way they fit. Like I buy belts stuff. and I cut off the buckle. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're too tight. I buy a shirt and I cut off the collar. There are your jeans there right there. Here's the yeah. photo. It's yeah. a matter of comfort. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there we go. Those are my jeans. That's my driveway. Yeah. What's a lunatic? Yeah. Look, you have witches gosh. in your trees. Those are cool. That's I got the nice witches th in my trees. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what kind of iron you running there? Is that a Rowenta? I like those. <laughs> you got an extension cord. You got an extension cord. You found an extension cord. You couldn't find one. You had to search around the house, but you iron these outside. You need an extension cord. Oh the that, distilled that's water. the driveway of an insane man. It is. That's what that is. I hope you get attacked by wolves. <laughs> You're out there <laughs> ironing. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> oh, God. God. The other, the Honey, reason, die. He was attacked by wolves ironing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, at least you got the iron in your hand. Fighting him off? <laughs> Apparently they like the smell of uh, warmed up denim. <laughs> and, and vinegar. <laughs> yeah, and vinegar. I mean. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Too big. I'm gonna educate you right now. Learn me something, Tom. 
Well, um, when we uh, go to a break, one can say, uh, as we just learned, I'm going to uh, dip out. Yes. Dip. But you don't dip. dip in. We learned that. Right. I was just talking to drummer Joe Maddox, who is informing me that if you're really cool, you don't say, hey, I'm going to dip out. You just say, I'm going to dip. Dip. Okay. We're not dipping now, of course. We just got here. But the point is... Uh, and I believe it's I'm a dip, isn't it? Or No. I I'm going to dip? I'm going to dip. No, I'm, I'm dipping. I got a spit bottle right here. Oh. Yeah, I'm not spitter. that kind of dip. Wrong this is kind. really <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I made it even cooler. I just say I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to French onion, guys. And you, and you have to put together... <laughs> Okay. work there, yeah. Because yeah. I'm sure that, I mean, you wouldn't be leaving. I, let's face it, Josh wouldn't be leaving if there was dip left. Heck no. No, you kidding me? Get the squeegee. Oh. <laughs> Unless you had another vacation plan. Not only are you going to eat all of it, you're going to be messy. Do you have another vacation plan? Do you hear yeah. that? Another counting herd from. <laughs> Do you hear that? Heck Very good. Okay, uh, let's see who's who here. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom program. I'm Tom. That's Willie. Hey. Across the way, it's our engineer, Ace Cosby. Uh, he will be uh, doing the Ace Cosby joke of the day momentarily. I want to say special thanks to Eddie Hazel, who's been engineering since 1 o'clock this morning. Doing a great job. As always, Eddie, you are the best. You know, better engineers would be able to do it from 4 a.m. They wouldn't have to go to one. God, I just can't wait for him to wire up your chair. <laughs> just, just presses the button. You have this explosive diarrhea forced by... Oh. Sorry, where were we? Chick McGee. Sorry, Thank sorry. you. Okay. Um, uh, but Josh, by the way, is manning, such as it is, the I hate Steven Singer.com sidekick chair. <laughs> Womaning the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk. It's Jess Hooker. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we have uh, the Steven Singer singers are uh, literally chilling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I say they're cool and they're chilling, I mean that they're freezing and they're cold. <laughs> but they're going to be singing with uh, Pat Godwin next. Thank you very very much, Duke. We're getting a song out of Duke in a few minutes as well. But, uh, Pat, you've been rehearsing with the Steven yeah, Singer it's Singers. Yeah, cold out there, too, yeah. Uh, what have you got? Uh, they're not exactly ready. They're still sitting on the couch back there, I can see. So we've got to get them to the microphone. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, there, Pat, they, there they Pat, are. Pat, if you want to make the band mad, talk about how cold you are. <laughs> <laughs> sitting inside. How cold I was for a minute. <laughs> now, uh, uh, this this uh, needs a little bit of background here. Uh, we were discussing the fact that, uh, Pat, as a child, mm -hmm. you, uh, what was the word you used? This it's uh, nocturnal. And your aneurysis. Nocturnal aneurysis. Yeah, that's the clinical name for it. Bedwetting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's serious business. No fun. Yeah, no. Yeah. And uh, a lot of kids have that problem, and um, or whatever you want to call it, and there, there are things to do to help out. But do you uh, you stepped up to admit that you had this problem. Yeah, it was it was rough. Uh, Josh, did you have that problem as a kid or just I, as an adult? As a kid, yeah. Okay, because <laughs> as, an, as an adult, you, you mentioned the fact that uh, uh, with one of your um, uh, random strumpets, you had a uh, flame. Con Conquest. Trumpets? Strumpet. Uh, uh, and you <laughs> urinated all over her bed. Oh, yeah. Really peed it up. You peed it up. Okay. Yeah. Um, this true story. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you were a young man. and Yes. Been yeah. drunk and, um, you know, woke up and said, oh, my gosh, I, I'm so sorry I wet your bed. She said, all right, well, I'm going to work. You stay here and clean the sheets. Mm -hmm. Never heard strumpet, huh? Uh, I, no, I thought it was a pastry. It does sound like a pastry, oh. doesn't it? Yeah, it's a really female. Know. If you go down to the right street corner, <laughs> it can be a pastry. In front of a bakery. It's a uh, female prostitute, woman who's many casual wow. sexual encounters. Ooh. Strumpet. Mm. There you go. Okay, obviously it wasn't a prostitute. No, of course not. It was somebody I worked with at the time. Mm. Yeah. Oh, did, yeah. You guys, did you guys smash, though? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then... Um, Tom, how about that? You smashed smash? the strumpet? You smash last night? That, don't do that. That's the term? Yeah, yeah, smash. You smash. Willie, isn't that smash? I'm smashing something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, any more of this conversation? <laughs> Anything at all? Did you smash your T-shirt, did you? Uh, okay. So, um, now the, uh, the once again, so Josh had this in incident, and you and the Stephen Singer singers have gotten together. You got a song about Josh's little incident. A tribute to Josh, yeah. Okay, in St. Louis, where he was born, lived a man <laughs> we call Josh. Hi. <laughs> Went on a date. <laughs> With a girl from work, they both got pretty sloshed. They did the deed and went to sleep. Woke up soaking wet in a pile of pee. <laughs> Josh was drunk, he peed the bed. She made him stick around and do laundry. They're both sleeping on yellow piston sheets. Yellow piston sheets, yellow piston sheets. They're Sleeping on yellow piston sheets, yellow piston sheets, yellow piston sheets. 
You nice. made, you wow. made those poor girls oh. sing those lyrics. But I apologized that, up front. <laughs> that really takes it up a notch, though. Boy, they awesome. can sing. Wow. wow, that is so oh, nice. Oh, boy. I'm ladies. So, I'm sorry, ladies. Uh, yeah, my apologies. Annie and Amy, the Steven Singer singers, nicely done. Duke Tomato and the Power Tree. I thought we'd have a f get uh, get uh, a song out of the boys while they're out there. A little where, chilly where? still. The key we in here. Okay. What do you got for us, Duke? Well, I thought we'd do this. Uh, you're absolutely perfect. And I actually, I will do the Allie Breen verse today because Allie's on today, as I recall. That's okay. Well, what day of the week is this? Is uh, all day Wednesday? Wednesday. That's right. The 14th yep. of October. I was thrown off because there was a football game last night that I didn't watch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Sounds good too far. Sounds great. Hey, baby. You're the best. Hey, baby. You're the best. You're absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change for maybe a thing or two. From the car to gas Lord, when you start drinking You're a pain in the ass Hey, baby You're the best Absolutely perfect In everything you do There's nothing I would change But maybe a thing or two in the bedroom you said it was obscene and then you sent an email to Allie Breen hey baby <laughs> you're the best your turn time you're absolutely perfect in, in everything, everything you, you do. do there's yeah, nothing I would change maybe a thing or two <laughs> I got this one Every time I drive the car, we end up in a fight. Because every time I turn or park, you say, you didn't do that right. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> you are absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change. Oh, maybe a thing or two. Uh, I got another one, too. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Here we go, here we go. You told me about a little store that has little gifts, so I went there just for fun. Now, I thought I got you a pretty bracelet, but you said, that's not the right one. <laughs> You're absolutely perfect. <laughs> 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 Nothing I would change to make me a thing or two. I want to hear Jess do a verse. Oh, uh, Josh, you go first. What the? <laughs> Give it a shot, Jess. Mm, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Josh, you're good. You're good off the cuff. I've got, I need a minute, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got the best. Was, Willie, you got any? On I don't know. I can talk about my fantasy yeah, football team. We got a little time. <laughs> I would change maybe a thing or two. I think a thing or two <laughs> rhymes with divorce you. How about that? Oh, there you go. A little divorce you. Uh, Duke, I can help. I can help uh, Jess write one right now. Okay. Okay. Now, what uh, does uh, let's just say someone does something that annoys you in the realm of a boyfriend? Okay. What, what would that be? Yeah, what I got some. You? I got some stuff. What annoys you? <laughs> um, driving around the parking lot four times before he decides on a space. Ah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be. Uh, I, I, I got a version of it. Go ahead, go ahead. I got a version. You're on. Uh, you're beautiful. You're smart, and I like you a lot. But damn it, just find a spot. It's just a parking lot. Hey, 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 baby. Hey, baby. You're the best. Absolutely perfect. Everything you do. Yeah, nothing I would change. Well, maybe one of you two. Yeah, that's right. The silence is definitely. Where are we going? Oh, I was, I I was just enjoying the. I was enjoying the delightful organ solo yeah. from James Hill. Take it, James. Just give us a little organ motion. That's not great. <laughs> He's very good. Doesn't that feel good? He's done this before. I think I practiced. <laughs>
looking. The quickest way of getting sick, baby, is eating your cooking. Hey, oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> You're the best. Ain't you in my house, though? You're absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change, maybe a thing or two. You guys gonna do something? Or am I just gonna stand out here freezing my ass? Off? <laughs> well, I think we've already covered it all. Yeah, we hey, did. Baby, baby. I can do one to close this out. That's good. Yeah. You got a closer? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, Willie's got the closer too. You're absolutely perfect in everything you do. Willie's up to bat. You better not screw it up either. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so nervous. If I mess it up, what am I gonna do? Uh, well, guys, I gotta be honest. I kind of gotta tell you something, and I I don't want to make you feel sad. Um, but I got an issue because I got this dick, and he's a boss, and he's my dad. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Getting personal. <laughs> so we even sort of left. He's the... absolutely perfect in everything he does. I mean, thank you very much. There we go. Hell of a guy. Have to do with, uh... I don't know what Willie's problem is. Hell of a guy. Song. It was just sort of. Speech, <laughs> <laughs> really. It'll be Duke Tomato and the Power Trio as our house band. <laughs> Technically the outhouse band. They will be outside on the porch because current protocols do not allow musicians in the building. Can you play guitar in uh, mittens? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now, the exception to that rule is Mr. Pat Godwin, uh, who uh -huh. is uh, in the building with us, although he's in behind the glass. We're looking at him on the closed circuit TV. It's, it's Pat. chilly over here. Uh, Pat, can you play guitar outside? Uh, not really. No, you, not would you mind cold. trying the rest of the morning? <laughs> oh, oh. I didn't see that coming. That was nicely done. Solo. That's solo Josh can't hear you. screaming. It's a chick. Uh, there's Ace. I'm Tom. There's Willie G. And Christy Lee is over there. And uh, let's see if I forgot anybody. Ace. I think we got them all in. We're all here right now. And uh, now, uh, Willie, are you doing a, a challenge again today? Is well, this a cold read challenge? No. Pat and I have something prepared for you. Last week, you said all this week, we were going to be doing TV theme songs if they were all in the style of the Jetsons, where oh. sort of the TV theme song tells, tells you story, yeah. exactly what's happening. Oh, I love that. When the TV, like, for yeah. example, Gilligan's Island. If you've never seen it before, you tune it in and it tells you, oh, right. I see how they got here. Right. <laughs> and so... Yeah, so they were the, on a three-hour tour. Oh, I yeah. see how yeah, they got here. Yeah, you like expository themes. Yes. Yeah. It, it, so it, you, you know what you're going to get. The right. first time you heard that theme song and watched Gilligan's Island, did you look at the TV and say, oh, I see how they got there? <laughs> yeah. You did. I did. I they right. call him Exposition Tommy. Yeah, he loves yeah. knowing what's going on. Okay. Setup. Mr. Yeah. Setup. Yeah. So in this, we thought we'd take what you had. We can kind of roll with it a little bit. So this is the Brady Bunch. Right. Uh, but it's if it were kind of about this show. Oh, all right. Which is oh. pretty fun. So you ready? Yep. Uh, so one, two, three. Here's a story about a man named Tommy. <laughs> with one boy, one girl, and two more crazy boys. <laughs> they all had great hair, unlike their father. <laughs> they made a lot of noise. Until one day when Tommy got lucky, another girl suddenly came along. <laughs> then two more girls, another mother. And now he's and now he's three mom Tom. He's three mom Tom. He's three mom Tom. Mom number three told us not to sing this song. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Willie. So we thought we'd take what you gave us, get inspired, be ran with it. It tells the whole story, really. Very nice. It does. Your next assignment is to do one of those for the show Lost. Oh, we have to and a half hours. Like as in. Get lost. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't great big airplane. <laughs> Oceana, airwaves, whatever the hell. I had a little bit of a problem. Okay. What's that? We were going to juggle pumpkins in honor of David Rush and yeah. him setting oh, the, sure. the juggling record. Well, as you can see, the. Oh, those are big pumpkins. Those are big. <laughs> oh, those are way too big. Those that that one's the size of a volleyball. I don't even know if Try I can it. juggle two. Okay, well, right. Um, okay. Hey, chicks juggling. Yeah, wow. Two. Yeah, no, you got two. Uh, just just switching hands. And there are really. different different weights, <laughs> so that's got to throw off. Um... I mean, that really is juggling. <laughs> well, it's, well, it's, well, it's not bad. No, chick, you're doing a fine job. I think. Chick, you, you look like you're yeah. teaching. You look like you're teaching some sort of fall themed workout class for seniors. That is it. The the that is it. Willie had it. It's the fall themed juggling class for seniors. Who's ready to get jacked, O Lantern? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some curls. <laughs> no, do you got to do three? You think this will shatter? 
Shubba doobie. On the ground. Uh, I think yeah. the stem will break off. Yeah, you need to cut the stems off, I think. Or I don't cut think them shorter. I can do the three. Yeah, the stems are throwing you off. Jake is attempting oh, to juggle three pumpkins. You're, you're back. You're going to bust the microphone. You've always inspired the people <laughs> of the world. And these pumpkins are about the size of cantaloupes. They're big. Yeah, they're okay, there we go. He takes, off, takes off his headphones. Yep, he's going to do it. Yeah, All right, serious. stand back. Okay, camera three. You clean up the mess. There he goes. He did it! One he did one revolution. He did one no, he did not. No. He, he dropped the first one he threw. Oh, it's a mess. It's a uh, mess down there. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Humanity pumpkin. No, it's Humanity. not. I, I, but I like Willie's idea of having a uh, a, a fall-themed <laughs> exercise for seniors. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, now we've got... Uh, now we have decorations. I love pumpkins. Yes. I, love, nice. oh, I love fall. Me too. It's my favorite. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun Lovely. right now. They're Tom, great. I love you. Did no, you know thank that? you, thank oh, you, Josh. I, I'd give you, I, I would give you a hug and kiss you on the cheek. I'd rather you didn't. Uh, no, I know. But when this especially, is over, especially this when, is all, all when COVID's yeah. over, when the vaccine is here, I'm, it's the first thing I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> really. I, I may kiss you on the mouth. Oh, I may open your mouth forcefully <laughs> with my own hands. <laughs> all right, okay, okay. I get the idea. Why wait? Are you oh, kidding me? Smell that? Oh, oh, smell that? Oh, yeah. These, are, these aren't really jokes. These are, uh, no, no. I call this the op-ed page of contemporary culture. <laughs> with no, uh, Ace Cosby, our engineer. Uh, it's time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the Ace Cosby joke of the day. We're doing the uh, quarantine lockdown in the house with the little woman. Okay. And seemingly every night she has a dream about the house being made of celery. Huh. It's a weird dream about the House made of celery. <laughs> Took it to the doctor. He said that's Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> oh my oh, lord, baby, <laughs> that's a killer. I don't know why, but I knew it, and I started laughing oh. when he said celery. You wow. figured it out? I, oh. I didn't see that coming. I, I didn't. See I it didn't coming. either. I thought Stock it was going to be a home syndrome. syndrome. I thought Stalk. it was like a Lincoln, yeah, okay. Lincoln ants on a log thing. Wow. Okay. okay. I well, love that. Thank you very much. You know, in Britain, they call jails celeries. Did you know that? They do. Yeah. Oh, a salary. Are you kidding me? No, oh, of course they <laughs> oh, I thought Was that uh, such a non-joke that yes. you could Yeah, I really thought you yeah. were going to say something. I, maybe, you know what they call prisons oh, in Brit Britain? Celery. What? You know, if, if it was set up, you know what they call it. Oh, I, I yeah. properly set it up, did I, Willie? <laughs> I like when you guys uh, do this. I do. I'm having a, yeah. I'm having a bad day. Break down the joke. You, see, you, could have, you could have done uh, just ancillary to the kitchen is the scullery. There you go. And then in the basement, we have the dungeon, or as we call it, the celery. Oh, oh you know. I can't believe my, that's, that's good. good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I will kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.